Hey folks, Quilly Keen here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Dungeon Crawl at Stone Soup. We're playing the current trunk build, which will probably eventually become version 0.21. We're playing a Naga Warper. Right now we're mostly going around whipping people, spitting and whipping at them. Which seems kind of rude once I say it that way. Uh, and we're hoping to use a little bit of magic later on. There's another potion mutation, which we've already identified. Throw a tomahawk at this skeletal thingy, since we can't spit at him. There we go. We did hit him. We don't have any particular throwing skills going on. Focusing on maces and flails. We did just turn on fighting so we can get a little bit more hit pointage here, which may or may not be the right thing to do. We'll see. We're uh, worshipping Cherobrobos, whatever his name is. Che Che, uh, the, uh, the god of slowness and deliberation. Level 8, so we're doing more of that with the priest, Ball Python. We're going to get a little closer so we can spit at him. Ooh, one shot, one kill. Nice. Uh, we've got a rapier here. Now, some of these could be plus one. Just because they um, they don't have a description doesn't mean they aren't magical. Can I get a, an observation of this thing and find out about its stats? Uh, no particular poison resistance. Nice. Okay. Um, but it's probably no better than a plus one. It might even be cursed, but in, and almost certainly it's a plus zero. But I think they can have a plus one even without a description. Oh, I should have thrown a tomahawk as it was closing in. And these guys will sometimes go invisible, but this one didn't. There you go, level 7 on that. More god altars. Um, that guy is poison resistance, so I'll just save my breath. Just throw shit at him and then try to whip him. He should be fine. We've killed some of these before. They are very annoying, though, because of their stupid blinking crap. There you are. Come on. Come on. There we go. Thoroughly appreciates change of pace. Ah, slows and strengthens your metabolism. Raises the support of your attributes as your movement slows. So our god... Oh, that was the right screen. Is now giving us plus two to everything? Um, and... Oh, yeah, no, that we were already at plus two, I think. But uh, I believe the metabolism means I don't need as much food. I also believe, while I'm not going to become any more poison resistant, I'm slightly poison resistant as a result of being uh, a naga, um, it's not going to get any better from that, except it's going to tick twice as slowly. The ultimate damage I would take from poison, if I do get, um, if I do get, I don't know, affected, will be the same, but it'll take twice as long to apply, which gives it me a lot more chance to, to survive to the end of a fight, to drink a potion, or even just regenerate a few hit points while the poison is ticking, so it actually does make a pretty substantial difference here. By the way, the soundtrack I'm playing in the background is the Crusader King soundtrack, because the game has no music on its own, and I thought that might be just a little too dull. We, you know, I'm going to read a uh, scroll of identify, and we're going to identify some kind of potion here. Potion of degeneration. Drop E. Wait. I think that means something else. Um, dropping E? I, I don't know. I, I, I really don't know these things. Potion of invisibility. Oh, there's an orc that probably didn't quite spot me. Let's go ahead and spit at him. Let him know we're here. Throw that. So he's got a flail protection. We're going to chop up your body, and we're going to pick up this flail, um, and we're going to wield it. Oops. Now, it's only a plus two versus our plus five whip. Now, the base damage on the flail is a lot higher, but the whip's very fast. Base damage is six. Actually, yeah, yeah, the flail is slower, but... What happens if you hit someone with the flail, uh, something of protection, you get bonus AC afterwards. And I don't know how much. I see, like, of protection. There's got to be... Like it's a brand. Um, hmm. Oh, there we go. Uh, does not, da, 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 the, instead the wielder gains plus 7 to AC for a short period after hitting with the weapon. Shield the protection off for a consistent plus 3. Um, yeah, I think that's probably worth wielding for now. So we'll do a slight less damage, but we'll be considerably more defensive, especially since our AC is very bad. Like, going from a 4 to an 11 AC in combat is actually going to be very meaningful until we find, um, some actual armor. Ooh, let's kite these people up the stairs. Thank you. I'm going to spit at you and fail, but kill you, because you're the wizard is going to be the biggest source of uh, DPS there. And we'll go down the other stairs to test things. Okay, nothing there to worry about. Bullfrog zombie comes into the root view. We'll just throw some tomahawks and whack at you. Ooh, there we go. It's the same 
Ah, plus three to all stats now. So we are we are slowing down as a result of our god. But we're also getting slightly better at everything. Well, except moving, I suppose. <laughs> throw, throw, throw. Beat you up, chop you up. Pick up all our things. Okay, we're finding lots of potions of degeneration and mutation. Although, thank goodness they've been identified already. I'm going to throw a tomahawk at you to wake you up. Okay, I'm going to spit at you. Oh, you found a wand. We will want to identify the wands. One of the things, and this is different from before, the wands are always identified, which is certainly different um, than the way it used to be. But um, if you use a, a wand you haven't identified yet, um, and therefore don't know how many charges are on there, maybe you don't know the right keyword or how to activate it properly, but it often will use extra charges. Um, and we're definitely going to be interested in killing things from range, so killing things with wand is going to be very, very, very handy for us. Oh, you just moved out of the way. Throw a tomahawk. Beat you up. All right, we're definitely doing a lot better than we were before. Come on. Come at me, bro. Fling. Fling. Kill. Yeah, see that 11 AC for a little bit while we're beating on people. Ah, magic armor. Could be cursed. We've already seen that, but let's, uh, let's... Whoops. R. Plus one of cold resistance. Well, that's not too bad. So we'll drop the other armor. Clear upgrade, which is at least something. We do have the scrolls of enchant weapon. We could be enchanting the flail protection more, but I think I'll wait until we get some more late game stuff. Okay. So Blork the Orc. This is our first... Actually, it took a while. What are we on? Dungeon level six. This is our first named unique person? That's crazy. So he's, yeah, he's a particularly fat and ugly orc, apparently. Um, <laughs> they've scavenged a pair of rainbow-colored suspenders from somewhere. They're not helping. He looks dangerous, which is not very dangerous, which is actually a very good sign. He does have some spell ability and predicts he can hit for up to 7 damage, uh, plus his halberd. Um, it doesn't tell me how many hit points he's got, does it? Oops. There. Uh, about 31. Uh, you know what? We should be able to take him with ease. Especially if we get a poison off on him. Um, we are going to A, F, boom. And A, question mark. Bend time? Everyone adjacent to you. Okay. Well, we don't have anyone adjacent. Also, the poison didn't go off. I'm just going to try to step back. There we go. And poison him again. Now, he will have a range of two. So, he's not going to move any closer to this. So, I will have to step into him. I will then try to bend time to slow him down. And he resists. Not with ease, but he does resist. He's going to spell cast me. I'm just going to keep beating on him. Excellent. Figured he'd be okay. We'll chop up his body. Could use the halberd for reach, but maybe... I don't know. We don't... Uh, if we have... Um, if we had a magic one, that would be something. So we killed that orc, which is nice. I'm just going to step back from the wizard here. There you go. Get my breath back and just wait for him and spit at him and fail. Come at me, bro. You know where I am, don't you? No, you still have the question mark. You actually hadn't figured out exactly where I was. Did you just blink? Oops, more wizards. Let's only fight one at a time. There's a little noise meter, which um, is new from any version I played, which is kind of nice and kind of relevant to me. Um... Let's spit at you. A lot of these guys will shout when they um, when they get woken up. I'm just going to try to kill that wizard here. Oh, let's spit at him again and fail. We are being poisoned by the ant, but again, the poison is ticking a lot slower. And we do have the innate, innate poison resistance, so... Okay, we're all right. Chop a bunch of bodies here. Rest. Anything we want to loot? There's an enchanted dagger. Eh, no. Well, we'll leave it away. Jackal Skeleton came into view. Let's just throw some Tomahawks at it. Get it to close. All right. An Adder came into view. Oh, can we spit at you? No, you're too far away. Tomahawk. Spit. Tomahawk. Tomahawk. Whip. Or not whip. Flail. Kill you and do that. All right. Pick up all our stuff. Wand around. Wand of Lightning. Okay, I don't want to start spamming my wands yet, but... I'm, I'm pretty notorious, well, at, like, all the games of, like... No, I must save everything forever... Um, you know, because what if I need it later and then it just never gets used? I'm going to see if I can, yeah, get an easy kill on that guy for now. And then we'll just walk away from that staircase. Spit. Nice. Spit and beat up. Are we at plus four? We're plus five to all our stats now. Excellent. Uh, spit at you. Well, that's a lot of dudes. 
Now, if I t say I step up and to the left... Well, you know what? I'm actually going to go down and to the left. Oh, someone died from the poison, I think. Spit. Excellent. Throw. Throw. I'm trying to make it so that only one person can attack me right now. Spit. Nice. Throw. Oh, he's going to throw back at me. I think with my own things. Spit at you and fail. And we've got nothing to throw. I'm going to have to close in on you because you've got reach. Boom. Poison's pretty good. Killing people without who aren't even in reach. Chop up some corpses for some food. Rest. Run around, pick up all our stuff. I'm going to aggro you intentionally. Come at me, bro. And spit venom at you. It's interesting, it does damage. Like, but didn't poison him. But yeah, that's true. And the thing is, it does just do flat damage. And that scales up a little bit with my level. Um, but yeah, I guess it has a chance of poisoning. And I think overall the poison will end up probably doing more. Hand axe of freezing... No, I think we're okay. Uh, one nice thing is a lot of skills cross-train. So, with axes... Now warp the flow of time around us. So what is that ability? Temporal distortion... Warps the flow of time, causing monsters to skip forward in time relative to you. I think that has a tendency of bringing people closer to you, or around, or I'm, I'm not sure what exactly. But I think it's actually a pretty useful ability. Speaking of useful abilities, hey, maybe we should uh, memorize more spells. Teleport others, interesting. Now, what's Gel's Gravitas? Briefly redirects gravity around a target point, causing down to be towards that point. All nearby creatures, save the caster, fall helplessly towards that point, typically colliding with each other or with a victim standing there. Huh. Lester Beckoning. Just draws someone forward. Teleport other. So we just teleport someone somewhere else on the level. I don't know. Let's get the Gravitas. And uh, the teleport other. Now, right now, we've got some failure rate with these things. Possibly because of some of the equipment we're wearing, although we could skill up our armor to avoid that. But also because we haven't been training our spell casting. I'm going to turn off fighting. Just hit level 5 exactly, which is great. Um, with our flail, what level do we need? We need 14 for the min delay. I think I might just go and go back to just focusing entirely on the maces and flails right now. Um, and then when it reaches 14, then we'll start hard researching our spells. Although, I mean, we might need to emergency blink a little sooner than that. At least we're getting a good number of tomahawks now. What did you do? A hand crossbow. Hmm. It's not ruined or anything. Okay, we've, re we've searched everything on this level. There's a door here that's going to be, what is it, Crazy Yusuf or something behind it? I think we can take him. Boom, done. He's got a quarter staff of chaos. He does have a glowing cloak, which is nice, because we don't have a cloak yet. Um, so we're going to wear that. It's plus one. Very nice. And that's just a regular old mace. All right. We did get drained, which I think reduces our stats or something like that. But that'll go away after a while. Um, I feel comfortable enough. Oh, you're not going to move up because of your, your range here. Because I was going to try to cut you up the stairs. I suppose I could do this. Spit at you again. I missed the first guy. I hit the second guy. That's kind of funny. There we go. If I do the... Ooh, that hurt a lot, actually. Maybe too much. Hold on. Potion of Heal Wounds. Let's drink that. Spit at you. Uh, let's drink another Potion of Heal Wounds. And yeah, we have to make sure we melee to set our AC up in these situations. It's actually very important. Spit at you again. Fail that. But we did kill you. Yeah, keep going for strength right now. I think it's going to be fine. I think I can probably go down here just fine. Spit at you. Beat you to death. Beat you to death. Uh, ruined armor. Flail of crushing. Well, let's pick up the flail and the armor. Let's wield this flail to see what it is. Uh, crushing adds a lot of extra damage. But I'm going to be fine with the flail protection from now. And if we wear the ruined leather armor. Uh, yes. 
Oh, that guy didn't even see me. Uh, that's interesting. Um, I'll go back to the cold resistance because of the plus one. Oh shit, I accidentally blinked myself. I hit the wrong buttons. I cast my blink scroll. Okay, uh, let's verify that we are wearing what we're wearing. Nope, we're not. Um, wear R drop H. And you know what? We can probably, we can drop the whip. It's gonna be okay. Spit. Fail the spit. Beat him to death. Spit some more. Beat him to death. No one's leaving any corpses. Fine. Well, let's just eat a royal jelly here. It's not gonna last long, but... Still hoping to just find corpses. There we go. There's a corpse. Worker ant zombie, so we don't spit at you. I will fling axes at you and then kill you. Find some robes. Okay, whites are a little bit dangerous. Yeah, totally immune to poison. Only about 16 HP, so we should be fine. Fling a tomahawk. Now, one of the reasons they tend to be dangerous is because they're very rarely alone. And they do wield weapons that can sometimes be very dangerous. You've got an enchanted Dire Flail. Dire Flail is dual-wielded, two-handed, and I don't think I want to do that. I think I definitely want to keep using a buckler. We might actually go to a full shield later. Okay, centaurs are pretty dangerous. They are insanely good at shooting you with freaking arrows. So, and that's a really bad spot to engage that guy. Although I might be able to spit at him and... Um, and then just run around the corner, let him take a little bit of damage, and kite him into melee range. And give myself the shroud. I heard him range. Ah! See, he's going to pepper me with arrows. Okay, he got spit on, which is good. Come around here. Cast my shroud. Which went, which is good. So now I've got some melee protection. I'll have to get protection from arrow stuff at some point. Excellent. Um, we're going to take a look at that bow. Wield Zed. Oh. Okay, let's take off the shield for a second. Okay, drop Zed. Um, where? Okay. Because if we can find a good magic bow, that actually might be... Oops. Wield the flail. That actually might be really important for us. Um, because we need to kill more and more stuff at range. That is a Wraith, I want to say. Wraith. 33 hit points. Obviously immune to poison. Up to 15 damage. To drain speed if any damage is held. I don't know, man. That sounds a little bit dangerous. Not super confident in our ability to just beat that crap out of that thing. Oh, we've got some rings. Hold on. Let's uh, put on a ring. Put on another ring. None of which are cursed. Because we... Oh, we don't actually have Scrolls of Remove Curse. I thought we knew about them. Oh, yeah, yeah, there it is. Scrolls of Remove Curse, yeah. So I can just afford to keep trying on stuff, which is what I remembered. Let's go down this way over here. Oh, you spotted me. And Joseph is here, too. I'm going to read a Scroll of Teleportation. And let's go and... Oops. Oh, I hit blink instead of... I mean, I still teleported as well, but I wanted to spit... I'm so used to going ZA for my standard spell cast instead of AF, which is what I have to do for my poison spit. I was hoping to spit poison before I teleported away. Bees! Spit poison. Smash, smash, smash. Um, I don't think he's got line of sight on me, which is good. I'm going to cast... My Spatial Distortion. Breathe some poison. Fight, fight, fight. Fight. Spit poison. Fight. Oh, I can't spit poison. I could Spatial Distortion again. Spit poison. Oh, he just healed, which is interesting. I'm not even sure he's damaged. But I got my Shroud. We're in melee. I've got my AC... I can keep spitting at this guy. Yep, we're good. All right. Many corpses, although a lot of them are not relevant. I could start collecting arrows, but I think we're okay. Spit at you. Did you? You didn't even notice. I mean, wow, that's stealthy. You can spit at someone and then not have them see you. Fling. Beat you to death. This is the staircase to the Economical Temple here. We're going to go and take a look. This temple here is... 
where or this floor is a single little floor of the dungeon where there's a bunch of altars. Um, the game is like guaranteed to either have the alt like the altar to as far as I know every god either in the temple or within the first X floors of the game. So you will get there in some fashion. Uh, monsters never spawn here, so it's actually a great place to just dump stuff. Um, we're going to put on this ring. Uh, taking off maybe the ring of strength. Ooh, that was a cursed ring. Anything else I want to wield or wear right now? No, so I'll just read the remove curse. We're going to drop the cursed ring of evasion and put on the ring of strength again. Um... We are going to go and blindly read some scrolls here. You. Scroll of Fog, okay. Which is fine, I guess. You. Scroll of Torment. See, that's something brutal, because it does... That's one of the very few very dangerous scrolls. Um, because I think Torment just hits you for like half your HP. But hey, we've identified that now. Scroll of Noise. Okay. More stuff we don't need to pick up later on. Scroll of Recharging. We will charge the Wand of Flame. And we will read Scroll of Immolation, a kind of a useless scroll. Scroll of Enchant Armor. I think... Mm, interesting dis decision. We could enchant the Leather Armor to keep it around longer. We could enchant the Cloak, which brings it up to plus two, which is the max. Although we want to trade... You know what? I will put it on the armor for now. It's going to be okay. Um, and G is Scroll of Silence. So yeah, there's like this purple square around me. It decays. There we go. Um, we are still silenced, so we make no noise, which is interesting. So all my scrolls have been read, which is okay. We still have scrolls of Identify, which I will use on some potions. Uh, we can drop the potion of Lignification, which turns you into a tree. Which probably has some sort of purpose, but I don't know. Uh, potion of Cancellation, which eliminates negative traits that are on you. Uh, we will eat, um, let's eat a meat ration, it's gonna be fine. Um... I would like actually to, to identify the Wand of Lightning. Oh, speaking of things that need to be recharged, do I have another Scroll of Charging? No. Because um, the Wand of Lightning, I think, can like bounce down hallways and stuff like that, and that could be really powerful in the right situation. Okay, I'm not going to rush to identify anything else. It's going to be okay. All right, we're going to keep exploring this floor. Uh, a Phantom is over there. They actually can be very dangerous. But you know what? Let me take this opportunity to um, zap them with, with some flame with one of these wands. Yeah, it just blinks away. So evoking the partially identified wand wastes a few charges. We can probably just beat him down in melee. He's just annoying because he blinks around a lot. But he's not actually that dangerous to us. There we go. Bath. Uh, nope. AF. Oh, failed to poison you. Oh, you're being uh, invigorated by something. Beat the ant down. More stairs. Spit. Chop. Check the downstairs. No. Should check these stairs as well. Okay. Loot around. Right. So Joseph is here. So what's Joseph's deal? 66 hit point. Extremely dangerous. Hit up to 15 damage. Plus his hunting sling. Yeah. I don't think we want to take that guy right now. They're worth good XP. But they're often very dangerous when you run into them. Speaking of very dangerous, uh, attacking this guy from range is not how I want to do this. So this is going to be fine though. Get into melee range with you, smack you around so that I get the AC boost. We'll try chopping that up, and we do. It's not going to auto-pick up anything because there is a threat nearby. That is just a zombie, so we can't actually spit at you. Quasit. Some sort of demon type thing. Oops, I want to X, then V. Resistant to poison. Only 15 hit points, though. We'll just throw stuff at you, wake you up, and then beat you to death. Excellent. AF, spit at you. We're in a good place to funnel people in. We're also in a decent place to just like lightning zap these people. It might be a waste, but you know what? It's cool. Browp. Uh, AF, that guy, because he's actually hitting me from where he is. I'm going to take a step back here. Now forward. And spit. There we go. Chop up the corpse. Fire, 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 fire. Whack, whack, whack. All right. Another phantom. Come at me, bro. Or, oh, you didn't actually notice me at all. Here. Come. 
These creatures that can blink, they'll often blink randomly, but they'll often, also often blink when um, you hit them. Which does make them fairly frustrating to fight. Spit. Kill. Excellent. There's a scroll of charging. I'm very tempted to use it on the uh, the lightning wand right away, but we may as well wait, actually. Steam dragon. A dragon! Uh, okay, first of all, we should still be getting info on his thing. Looks dangerous. Not very dangerous, which is good. Very large. Can bite and claw. Can steam ball. Does not have resistance to poison. I'm going to get out of the steam. Maybe. Oh, there's a warp. All right, well, we'll breathe poison at you. Okay, that is hitting me a lot harder than I would enjoy. Thank you. We'll chop you up and wait. Did the dragon not come after me? Did it not know where I was? I'm just going to throw a tomahawk and then kite backwards. Sounds like there's a lot of orcs over there. Poison. Kill. Reach level 10. Spit some more poison. Tomahawk. Many wargs. Okay, beat you guys to death. So far, so good. This, I wonder if there's an entrance to the Orcish Mines over here. Because that's a lot of Orcs clustered together. Okay. Missed you. There's the dragon again. Uh... Okay, we are going to read a scroll of teleportation. And I'm going to actually cast my blink repeatedly until I teleport. There you go. Teleport does teleport you somewhere random in the dungeon. And I don't think it's got any particular promise of teleporting you further away. Okay. Um, did we find anything new? No. In terms of identification, we picked up a yellow potion. Potion of Brilliance. Which isn't terribly important. Okay, we'll, we'll come back. We'll, I think we can clear those guys. Oops, I think I accidentally teleported. I'm getting more attributes. Look at this. We're at strength 32. All right, plus 11 from everything. Ah, I keep blinking! Which isn't what I want to do. Oh yeah, I can't, I can't breath weapon some more. Chop you up. Do this. Mr. Beckman. What's the passage? What is this thing? Opens two gateways, one always near the caster, which allows instantaneous transport to random other open gateways to any creature entering them. There's no limit to the number of gateways that can be opened at one time, but a gateway will close when entered. Oh, so what, you just like leave gateways behind? Or something? I'll have to check it out on a wiki probably. I do not want to fight you at range. You did not spot me though, which is nice. AF. AF. I'm over here, buddy. There you go. Uh, beat you for the AC boost. Spit at you. Beat you, beat you, beat you. Nice. Chop up the corpse. Uh, Two-headed ogre! That is considerably more dangerous than the regular one-headed kind. Um, can do a lot of damage. Like, it can dual hit, right, for each side? That's the problem. Extremely dangerous. Now, I've got a few options. definitely have a few. Do I have a potion of might? I do. So let's say I zap myself with my defensive spell and then I quaff my potion of might and then I poison him. Okay, I failed to poison him and then fight him. Oh, nice stuff. Alright, 12. We're not quite at the min, but we're getting damn close. I'm going to go ahead and turn on fighting. Um, stealth, armor dodging, invocations. We can spread this around. Translocations. There. Means we're not going to hit our target necessarily min min thing as quickly, but we're pretty close to the min, I'm sure. Uh, let's throw that at you, and again, and then spit, and then throw, 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 spit. We still have might going on, so beat the shit out of these guys. Uh, centaur is arrowing me. Let's spit at him. 
I can't shoot through people, I think. So we did have cover there for a second. Fire at you. Get some more. And spit. And kill you. And let me hide here for a second. He should still come near me because he's got a hint that I'm over here. Spit at you. Beat the crap out of you. Most priests and things can do a surprising amount of damage. God damn, there... I feel like there must be... Must be an orcish mine here. I don't know. I don't know what level it actually spawns in. Like what dungeon level it spawns in, so it might not be here. Haha, <laughs> gotcha. I gotta say, even without any throwing skills, we are doing pretty good damage um, with our tomahawks. I mean, it helps when things are poisoned, of course. Then they just die over time anyway. Excellent. Yep, that's... Oh, no, that's the lair. Okay, there's the steam dragon. Zap B to shroud myself. Well, he's probably going to breathe steam in a second. That's okay. Poison? Oh, there's a plant in the way. Can you stop steaming me up? Are you resistant to poison or something? No, resistant to steam. Um, I don't know. I don't know if it's worth fighting this guy. We could slow him down, because we got the priest coming. I try to teleport him away. I wonder if it's instant. Because, yeah, we don't actually have a potion of cure of, of heal wounds. We have curing, but that's very different. I'm going to try to teleport you. You look unstable. Good. You'll teleport away in a bit. So in the meantime, I'm going to whack you a little bit more. We might actually be able to kill you. Um, let me invoke my Wand of Lightning in that direction. Brump. Nice. Get out of the steam. And we have a Steam Dragon Corpse, which first of all we can chop up for flesh. Oops. Uh, AF. Boom. But we've also got Steam Dragon Scales. So our leather armor gives us armor of three, although we only get, yeah, we only get half of it. Wearing mundane armor of this type will give you the following AC. Two AC and protection from cold. The Steam Dragon Scales would give us three AC. Um, Doesn't give us much protection, but extremely light and supple. Encumbrance rating is zero, which is considerably less than the leather armor. So yeah, we're going to wear the dragon scales. Currently, our AC is nine and our um, evasion is ten. If we were to wear this, so we do lose one point of AC, but this was non-magical yet, and our uh, evasion rating goes up. Now, we don't have cold resistance. We don't have any kind of resistance. But it feels okay-ish. Check these stairs. There's a warg there. Can we split him from this range? No. Throw. Spit. Fail to do that. Beat the crap out of you. Invocation goes up a little bit, which is going to be nice. We hear the roar of battle, which means, yeah, there's a bailey on this level. Uh, which we may or may not want to go into. Let's read a scroll of magic mapping here. And see where the heck that might be. I think it's right over here. Well, let's move in that direction. Um... We will eat some food because we don't want to get hungry mid-fight. This Bailey will be... Oh, that's shop. Well, let's check it out. What are you selling? All right, so these are identified rings, which is nice because if we buy one, it will at that point identify the rings for us. The ring of protection might be particularly nice. Because that's just extra AC, which we have a little bit of a hard time with. I don't have enough gold for any of these things. Well, the stealth, but... Or the dexterity, but that's not that important. Oh. That's probably it down here, then. Let's head in that direction. No, it's another shop. Oh, shit. Okay. There's a slave here. If we kill the slave owner, then the slaves will de-aggro, but I don't know if that's really in the cards. Uh, let's actually zap B for shroud first, and then I'll try to poison you and fail. Should actually, like, melee is one of the first things. It felt strangely unrewarding, yeah. 
You don't get XP from killing the slaves. You need to get the slave owner, there we go, to come up front. Shroud begins to fray. I failed to use my ability? I failed to breath? It does have like a 4% failure risk, so, uh... Shit, you're electrocuting me. Um... That did not work out. Okay, let's try to poison you again. I did damage to you. What I could do is blink around a little bit, just to try to keep some distance until my breath weapon resets. Since he's not throwing, well that's not very far. A, F. Mm, nope. Get my shroud back. Gotcha! Woo! Slaves are chill now. Uh, Whip of Electrocution. That is very interesting. Plus two. See, because first of all, we're at the skill level for Min Delay. And occasionally when you hit, it'll do a bunch of extra lightning damage. And those brands are usually really good. I'm still thinking that the AC might be better. But that it would be a substantial boost to damage, which I don't believe um, Electrocution is based on the base damage. Let's see here. It's a 33% chance to inflict uh, 7 plus 1d13 electricity damage. That's a lot of damage. That is a lot of damage. I think we are going to wield this. I also think what we're going to do here is we're going to take a cut in the video. Thank you very much for watching another episode here, folks, of Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup as we try to make our way as a Naga Warper. There's probably lots of things I'm not playing right about this character, but hey, we're in Dungeon Level 9. We haven't died yet. Um, we'd find the lair, right? Yeah, we might go in and... I don't know if we can do the, the start of the lair. Usually I go down the dungeon as far as I can until it becomes, like, too hard, and then I backtrack to the lair. So if you go down the lair right away, you tend to have a bad time. We'll have to see. In any case, we'll try to look for the, uh, the Bastion right now and see what we can do there. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys next time.